Welcome to LearnTar YouTube videos. This video is going to demonstrate how to set up a cron job on Scope and Server 5 with LearnTar. First thing we're going to do is go into the LearnTar main menu, type in LT menu from the command line as user root, and we're going to go to option number 6, utilities, and do option number 1, automate nightly backups through cron. Now here it says empty, so I know for a fact there's no al there's not already some active cron jobs with Lone Tar. So we're gonna set up a Lone Tar nightly backup with option number S. And the first thing is gonna ask, especially if you don't have any already existing cron jobs, is do you want to add a cron line? And you can do a master, incremental, or selective. Uh, you can have multiple cron jobs running as well. So as long as they're not overlapping, you won't have a problem. So in this case, I'm going to set up a master backup, so I'm going to M. And if you have multiple devices, it's going to ask you which device do you want. I, I got my tape drive, and I could say no real quick, and it'll give you the list of other devices to pick from. So you could literally have multiple lines, cron lines, go into different devices. For example, you can have one go into a tape or, or one go into a local file. So I'm going to do tape, and it asks you want to use this device, I'm going to say yes. Now it says this is the command that's going to be executed inside the cron file, and that's okay, yes. And when doing this, you always want to do on specified days of the week. Uh, it's usually a lot easier. Um, or you could do specified days, but usually people do specified days of the week. So do number one. And Based on if you want to do all days of the week, that's totally fine, but I'm going to do Monday through Friday because that's what most people do. So you hit 1 enter, 2 enter, 3 enter, 4 enter, 5 enter. And as you can see specified, it shows you below here which ones have already been entered. So once I'm done, I'm going to hit Q to quit specifying days. And it's going to ask for the hours, and this is a military time. A lot of people like to do late at night, so I'm going to do 11 o'clock p.m., so I'm going to do 2300 or just the number 23 and then Q to quit specifying hours and then it's going to ask for minutes since I'm doing 11 o'clock p.m. I'm going to do zero for the minutes and then hit Q to quit now it's going to give me a summary it's going to say it's running at 11 p.m. Monday through Friday of ltar.m.crime which is a master backup to device number zero in this case the tape drive and here you can see in human legible format 11 p.m. Monday through Friday. So I'm going to hit Q to quit. That looks good. It, now it'll ask you if you want to add any more. You can say no or you can hit A to add. It's up to you. But I'm going to quit out. And this is a very important part. This will update the cron file. Now doing so will actually update the cron daemon so you won't have to restart your computer. Your, your cron will be ready to go for tonight's backup. So I'm going to hit U to update. And the cron has been updated. Now, if you notice here, when you get back to the backup schedule manager, it says, and it now says active. So we at least know that it worked. And that's it. And also, you can see cron backup here at the main menu. It says active as well. And your cron process will run at 11 p.m. or whatever time you specify.